Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. King of all kings, Lord of all lords, God of all gods, the universe God. Christian soldiers, fellow saints, beloved, we are at war. It is with this in mind that I bring to you the scripture of encouragement. Psalms 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, come upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumble and fell. Though an host shall encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war should rise against me. In this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble shall he hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. And he shall set me up upon a rock. And now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies round about me. Therefore I will offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me and answer me. When thou saidest, seek my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, I will seek. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O God, and lead me in a plain path because of my enemies. Deliver me not, deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies, nor false witness are risen up against me, and such as breed of cruelty. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. People, it is a serious time that we live in. The forces of wickedness have gathered together in legions, praying for the demise of Christians. We need to say no to compromise and say yes to Jesus. This has been part one.